So we took a little journey about an hour and a half away down the mountains from where we live and found this company called Blue Ridge Log Cabins, and they make modular cabins. They're actually sections that are big enough to drag down the road. So if you want a bigger home, maybe four or five sections, depending on how big you pick. But they have a number of choices, as you can see in these videos. It shows you the exteriors, including poplar bark and stone. And they just do a variety of things. And some of the homes are more modern than others. Uh, they're all pretty much log exteriors. I mean, uh, the walls. On the exterior, like on this one, they clad it with some, um, it's like a cement board that they painted white. That did not appeal to me at all because I'm more interested in log cabins and uh, since I live in the mountains. And anyway, the, uh, the, ex the interiors are really nice. I'll show you a couple others so you can get a feel for the style. <music> They had a total of five different houses varying in size and while some were lofts, some had vaulted ceilings, they had different varieties of choices that you could make. And this right now is the place where they build, it's not a warehouse, but it's a construction building. And they, he took us through the process of, it goes from stage to stage to stage and um, shows 
the process of making these houses. So pretty cool. But just to let you know, these are not inexpensive ways to go. They just, I think, make it easier to get a building onto a unusual space, a challenging space. And it's probably about the same money in terms of square footage for uh, a stick built or, you know, it's it's hard to judge. And it does depend on the amenities that you pick in your home. These are all prepared, I guess, shells, you could call them, for delivery. And they are made a certain width and length for easy transport down the road. What we did realize that was the builder had to do a lot of things. So you have to hire a contractor. So a contractor or you would have to build a foundation and or a basement. You would have to stain the house, whatever color stain you wanted. And there was a number of other things that you would either have to hire a contractor to do or do yourself. So it isn't just you're getting a finished product like you would if you bought a park model. It's done. They bring it on location on wheels and they drop it there and it's it's done. You might have to pay somebody to hook up electric and water and things like that, but basically you don't, you have a lot more expenses when you go with a house like this. Granted, it's a gorgeous home, but it really, in the end, probably costs as much as a stick built. So you have to weigh that out when you're going to buy. But I thought you'd be interested in seeing this particular process and option for buying a home. Hope you're all well, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.